Hey guys, this is Ruronin K95 here, and once again, it's time for another anime update video. So today, we're gonna be taking a look at something we ha I haven't thought of doing one before, which I should have done, which I forgot doing, but I haven't done it since yesterday. Sorry, even though I haven't been making any videos since yesterday, but today I wanted to do an anime update video. This time we're going to be taking a look at my Animerica issue magazine. This one I have for today's anime update for what I got here. This was basically issue volume 10, number 10. Volume 2, number 10, just released back in October 1994 on here. This includes the interview with Hiroyuki Kitazume on here. And this also includes manga features, which includes Area 88 and Yurusa Yatsura on here. Didn't you notice on the back there's an ad for the Gundam ones on here? Especially those G-Force, which is basically like those um, Gundam headquarters where they have these model kit ones. Especially where there's Gundam merchandise on here. It's on the back of this magazine on here. I didn't know about this until now. If you open this up, we all know there's it's got an ad for Genocyber on here, and there's the continents on this index of this magazine here. And also, not only you have the ad for this, this has the from the editors and contributors on here, and it's also included the ad for Ron Mahaff on here on this VHS the releases on here, where most of the volumes were released like like two episodes per volume, especially for the anime series like Ron Mahaff, because that wasn't long. And then you also had like those VHS volume box sets for Ron Mahaff, especially for season one, two, and three on here. Especially every episode's on like two episodes per VHS volume on here. Especially of its kind though, from any other anime titles on there. There's an the interview on it from Hiro Yuki Kitazume on here, which is known for his infamous works on every anime he worked on. Yeah, especially in the interview on here. Yeah, I didn't know that it has the interview until now. And also, there's an ad for on sale at a video store near you, which has got an ad for the Mole Diver anime VHS tape ones. They're like six volumes on here and this includes the how to order on here especially before Amazon and eBay were still a thing at the time but this is back in the 90s on here and also this got a catalog on here for these yeah because Hiroyuki Kitazume is known for his work such as the Ideon, Mobile Suit Gundam, Fightizer 1, Heavy Metal, El Gaim Megazone 2 3 Part 3 on here, and the Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam, Robot Carnival, Bastard OVA, Sharks Counter Attack, many of his works on here. It's got an ad for an every anime titles that are available on Laserdisc. Ones were like $55 per Laserdisc set on here, and this also, most of them have like $35 per Laserdisc on here as well as $40 per Laserdisc on each of these on there. On every anime titles on Laserdiscs of its kind, especially, I have to go through imports on there as well. As well as there's an at 20% off for anime, especially from titles like Viz, Streamline, Pictures, AD Vision, Animego, Central Park Media on there included especially on there, which I was going to show you, on these adverts, what you find in every older anime magazines of its kind as well. Especially these orders shipped, though. And there's also, not only you have that, there's also the anime news dateline on this one, including those character designs on here. Especially video clips from an an America's top sellers on every anime on here. And there's also information on every anime, like Double Hunter Yoko, Bubblegum Crisis, and Fatal Fury of the Motion Picture on here, which you didn't notice, in case you're wondering, on this magazine as well. Which I didn't know about this until now as well. And there's 
re uh, golf horse on here and this also has these Q and A's on Animerica on here not only you have this there's also home video release on every anime VHS tapes whether it's dubbed in English or subtitled in English with the original Japanese language track on there especially on this one which I didn't know about this because I and there's also the coming soon releases in Japan on every anime titles included not only you have this in the, in the US but also there's ones in Japan which I didn't know there's an ad for these little information on uh, there's news feed like the Tenchi Muyo series and the and Macross 7 which is a new series on there including on this magazine which I didn't know that, that it was there in that one yeah most of them have laid and there's also not only you have that there's also the manga inserts like there's the manga for Yurisa Yatsura insert on the manga, which is in between Area 88 manga insert on there. Yeah. Didn't know that this had it on here. I mean, I've seen scans of the manga the, online, though, before, but I was like, wow, this really s how it made the manga stay so fresh. That's why. Yeah. Um, it's not like the first every old manga books that were put out back in the 90s of its kind and in particular as well which I didn't know about this until now yeah especially what you have on there it's every magazine is of anime yeah come to think of it Yeah, because I never knew that this have how this was until Otaku USA arrived as well. Yeah, especially how I'm showcasing some chapters on that are from the original manga included on here. Or in particular, which I didn't know that they have manga inserts as well and you have that and there's also not only you have this one there's also some other informations of other animes on there which I didn't know that I found which is included and also there's Mo Japan manga's top 10 on there or included including the little information about Macross 2 the Micron Conspiracy well, included which is didn't know that it had this as well and not only you have this there's a there's the manga insert for area 88 part 2 on there included didn't notice I've seen the area 88 anime OVA on um, to be when a while back but this is the first time I had to read this manga insert chapter on there for the first time which I didn't know that there was a manga of it especially that one as well and here is this one as well pretty neat stuff huh because I had to go page by page on every manga like this as well and there you have it there's an ad for other anime titles including on there which I didn't know about this as well yeah including from how you expect there's an ad for other anime titles this one includes Otaku no Video and Farewell to Space Battleship Yamato on there which I, I never knew that it has a, got these as well Unlike every other ones of its kind as well. There's much other anime in there as well. Yeah, because there's an ad for these two on there, which is back in the 90s on here. 
And there's also a little advert for Maurice the Chojo on there, including the little information about that anime, which I didn't know it has it, because I think this is part of Rumink World on there. Yeah, it's this one. And also, not only that, you have also got these how-to orders on the if you order anime tapes back in the day as well. There's also Trading Co., which is a mail order of where you can get those Japanese model toys on there, model kits and toys on there. Every piece of merchandise on there. There's also uh, Animania, which is basically one of those like older anime a catalog ones where it has these imported laser discs and mangas and promotional items all included in this which I didn't know it's there and also the largest in Texas planet anime where they have everything for every anime collectors back in the 90s have know about this on there by fans as well every one of them there's also oh these other a or ones on anime which I found. There's an ad for Green Re Green Legend Ron, Tenshi Moldiver, and Kishin Hiedan on there. Especially on these ads. I love how they do these back in the 90s as well. There's an ad for Project Echo, and there's other titles from U.S. Redemptions on there, including Outlanders, which I have on DVD, by the way, as well. Yeah, and there's also a little information about Macross Plus on there. Yeah, because if you ever loved anime in the 90s, and there's also You're Under Arrest manga anime also, there's soundtracks for other anime. Yeah, there's a lot of them. And there you have it. So that's going to be it for my anime update on the magazine I have for today's anime update for today, you guys. Thank you for watching, but before we go, before we go, here's a thing I'm going to say for this one. This is like a little quick little anime update video where I'm showcasing the magazine I have from Anime Rica because why not? Because I had to do this, which I have forgot that I should have done until now. Despite I have been doing a lot of my previous anime update videos in the past, but my new anime update video worth the Anime Rica magazine definitely should take the cake, though, as well. Hope to subscribe for content my anime plan link in the description below. You share this video on your Twitter, Facebook. If you have a Twitter, Facebook account, and all social media, smack the like button if you enjoy this mm -hmm. video. Feel free to leave in the comments in the comments section below on this video if you like as well. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, RuronyK95. Feel free to join my channel, especially if you're new to my channel as a newcomer. Smack the notifications bell button. Be sure to get notified as well. What are your thoughts in the comments section below about what do you think of the anime cup magazine, Anime Rica, back in the 90s? Let me know in the comments section below as well. And keep it otaku for this anime update video because I'm, I decided to showcase this magazine for today's anime update. That didn't take very long. This is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video. I'm glad you liked it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you soon for the next video. I hope you have a great day. This is Ruroni K95 signing off. Thank you for watching my video. And I will see you soon for more videos.